I'm Jeff Miner. I'm a professor here in the Division of Nephrology, and the major interest of my laboratory is the glomerular filtration barrier. The glomerulus is the main filtration apparatus of the kidney, and the filtration barrier consists of two cells, a podocyte and an endothelial cell, which are separated by a very specialized extracellular matrix called the glomerular basement membrane. And the focus of my lab is this glomerular basement membrane and its laminin and type 4 collagen composition. And we became interested in these proteins because there are two human rare genetic diseases caused by mutations that affect either the laminin or the type 4 collagen component. The, the disease that affects the laminin component is called Pearson syndrome. It leads to congenital nephrotic syndrome. Whereas the disease that affects the type 4 collagen component is called Alport syndrome, which is a more delayed onset renal disease that eventually leads to kidney failure in teenagers or young adults. So my lab has generated knockout mice that have lack of either the, the proper laminin or the proper type 4 collagen, and we're using these mice to try to get a mechanistic understanding of why the absence or defects in these proteins causes breakdown of the glomerular filtration barrier and proteinuria and eventually kidney failure. I've been in the Division of Nephrology for about 20 years now and I've always been very impressed at the quality of the research, the researchers, the people, the dedication of the people to doing the research whether it's on the clinical side or whether it's on the basic science side where, where I'm uh, mainly located. But what's also been really gratifying for me is to have the opportunity as a PhD researcher to interact with the clinicians and talk to them about their patients and actually get materials from their patients, usually kidney sections, but it's really made it a lot easier for me to make my own research more relevant uh, to the world and to the NIH, which of course is the body that makes the funding decisions. Having generated a mouse model of chronic kidney disease, which the Alport syndrome mouse model essentially is, it's been gratifying over the last few years that I've been contacted by several pharmaceutical companies, whether large or small startup companies, to try to come to some agreement on how to test compounds that they're thinking about could be useful for chronic kidney disease to test those in my mouse model of Alport syndrome.